white privilege has taken over America. And truth be told, the Western civil, Western world, white privilege is something fucking horrible. It's when people of a certain kill, skin color have a certain privilege against other individuals. For example, let's just start naming a couple examples. Representation. In the movies, in the TV, in the media, the odds of an individual having a fairer skin tone or a white skin tone is incredibly high. But if you have a darker skin tone, the chance that you will be represented is next to none. The world discriminates based on the skin color of an individual and that is white privilege. But we are not addressing that sort of thing at CAS because we say, oh, it's just what it is, it's just okay. That's wrong, it's not okay. We should be hiring people for what they're able to do, not on how their skin color is because that is racist. Equal representation for equal taxation or some shit, you know? And not just that. Here's the blonde phenomenon, or white phenomenon. If you look at a white individual, you are more likely to think that person is smarter than a darker skinned individual. So you would assume that those, those people would be competent. That's just racist. Just because a person is a darker skin color does not mean those individuals are less coherent or can't make sense of the world. And you're going to say, whoa, well, RDF, there's no proof for that. There's no proof. There is proof for that. Look at society, how they judge people based on the color of your skin. They do this all the time. And you're saying there's no proof for that. There is clear proof. There is clear proof of that happening all the time. But you're just not willing to accept that this sort of thing happens because you don't want to accept that you as an individual is a racist. White privilege. You could be a person who is not white. Yet you still could be a process of internalized white supremacy slash white privilege because that's what you've been taught for your whole life and it's generational because it keeps on affecting the people at the bottom as they grow up and it eventually leads full circle. Look at racial profiling. Police officers are more likely to arrest and or pull over a darker skinned individual than a white person. Racism! Racism! We don't talk about that. Oh no, we do talk about that, but we don't actually do anything to address that. Because it's okay, because this is how it is. That's wrong. That's racist. That is white privilege. White privilege is wrong. We can't be doing this sort of shit because white privilege should not be allowed. It should not be done. It should not be happening in modern day America. But we allow this sort of thing to happen because we have been tricked, we have been fooled to believe this. And in case you're not aware, white individuals have an easier time getting housing and loans. In case you're not aware, if you go to a bank and you try to get a loan as a darker skinned individual, or even when you try to rent or buy a specific thing, people will judge you based on your skin color. They will most likely not even help you. There's a higher probability of them not liking you or trying to help you if you are a darker skinned person because of internalized white supremacy and privilege. We need to address this at the root cause of the situation. We need to make sure we check this, we do what's necessary to make sure that this sort of thing does not happen in the future. And not just that, the benefit of the doubt, whoa, 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 RDF, what the fuck is that? What the fuck is the benefit of the doubt? It's quite simple. Basically, just because a person is white, you are more likely to give them the benefit of the doubt because of their skin color, because the person is a white individual. That is wrong. Because we assume they know more than a darker skinned individual, because that is racist. We should not be allowing those beliefs to persuade society. And not just that, the spotlight effect. In case you're not aware of what the spotlight effect is, that is when a white individual is more likely to see themselves reflected in the world or popular culture. So they feel a sense of validation and belonging. But guess what? There ain't no darker skinned individuals in the movies or any other TV shows or any other areas. There's very little compared to the actual uh, mass of darker skinned individuals out there. There's really not that many people. The trust factor. White individuals are more likely to be trusted. They're more likely to be trusted. That's so fucking wrong. I'm telling you, it does exist and any person that doesn't want to accept this is just not 
in, turn, in tune with reality. The smooth sailing. Oftentimes, white individuals may navigate their life with less friction. For example, job interviews, housing applications, or even interaction with the police, as I said previously. This sort of thing is a problem, and they have that. We should not be discriminating based on race for anybody, especially if that individual is darker skin. Oftentimes, white individuals face the mold. Fit the mold, because that is what the perfect idea of a man is in society. Or, or a woman, too. Because that's what it has been for the past thousand years, and that's what it must be for the next thousand. Wrong! That sort of thing isn't right, and we should not have that. And, and not just that. There is almost near zero pre prejudice or racism directed towards white individuals because it's the fucking truth.